Greetings and welcome to Verses of Enchantment. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I am delighted to say that this uh, series of, um, well, at least the first three episodes are sponsored by uh, the developers Nachtflam. I, I had to look this up. I'm like, that sounds like night something. Um, and it actually means night flame, which is kind of cool. Uh, so anyway, huge thank you to the devs for sponsoring these videos. I'm really excited about that. Um, this game, okay, first I'll tell you about the steamy stuff because I have that up for myself as well. It has steam deck compatibility, yay! And also remote play together, also a yay! Um, so that's pretty exciting. It also has sh uh, split screen PVP. Um, and of course, controller support, Steam Cloud, all this stuff. Anyway, um, this game is in the genre of Slay the Spire, but, but it is not an exact copy, which is delightful. Um, this game, it's really interesting, the battle. So I hope you're, you're gonna, you're gonna hang with me here because this is pretty cool. Anyway, um, I looked around, there's a gallery which shows a lot of the historical paintings that they've used in this game. It's pretty neat the way it goes. I, I kind of like it. And you can also search different paintings and stuff like that as well. Let's go back <clears throat> to the title. I think I would like to see, this is a painting that they've kind of like, you know, edited so that it actually has animations. It is super cool. So I think what, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you that they have difficulty levels and dual speed levels and colorblind correction. Oh my God, this is great. So many people have colorblindness. It's really nice that they, they actually offer this super nice. Anyway, we're going to reset the tutorial and then we're going to reset the save data. I wasn't going to, but then I'm like, yeah, I should because the animations are pretty cool. So we're going to start on the campaign. You do start with 15 cards collected because you have to have cards to play. Um, anyway, here we go. An ancient land where magic and poetry are one and the same. The Isles of Prose. Throughout the ages, scholars became wizards attaining mythical status by perfecting their art in epic jewels. Those who had the means to learn this craft were able to devote their lives to the poetic arts. Over time, magic was considered somehow inherent, passed down through bloodlines. However, at the dawn of the Third Age, at the heart of the Isle's finest academy, a young wizard discovered a searing truth that could unravel the very fabric of high society. There was great uproar amid the magical elite. A decision was cast, and word spread across the lands. It was easier to shun one defiant wizard than sully the status quo. Despite the Academy considering the matter dealt with, there remained many wizards that deemed the discovery unforgivable. He had no choice but to flee in fear of his safety. Thus, the wizard's life was confined to the sleepy isle of Old Walland. Forced to adopt a slower pace, he found love with a woman and raised her child as his own. Even the new father's provincial home couldn't quell his love for the poetic arts. He saw great potential in the child's curiosity and became determined to instill in them the foundation of magic. Years later, as the heir of your father's discovery, it is your turn to become a wizard and master the poetic arts in Verses of Enchantment. Okay, so we end up being the child. <clears throat> After learning the basics of magic from your father, you set out to test your skills against traveling wizards in the countryside. Will your prose hold up under their scrutiny? Hmm? Let's find out. Welcome to the campaign mode. Let's go over the details of this interface. This is you, packed and ready to start your adventure. So um, each of the people is like little portraits that travel along the map. 
To move to another location, press the dotted road in between you and your destination. You can also click the, uh, the circle of the place. On your travels, you may meet other wizards to learn magic from. To interact with them, press their portrait tile on the map. Here you can see some extra information about the wizards you encounter. On top, you can find the wizard's portrait, name, title, and a preview of their deck of cards. You may recognize Flora here. <clears throat> Whenever a wizard shares the same location as you do, they might talk to you. A history of your conversation will appear here. Likewise, when you share locations, you can challenge them to a duel. Winning duels is the main way to earn new cards and progress the story of Verses of Enchantment. Okay, so Flora is a forest sage, so we can see the cards that she has here. Yes. <laughs> Some of these cards have a glittering effect, which means you can collect them by defeating their owner in a duel. So we see flower, rain, lake, wind, and sea. Um, I think, I, you know, if I were to, to give a bit of um, critique here, I think the sparkling should be a little bit more obvious, like maybe a border around the edge of the card. Um, because here, some sometimes like the sea, I didn't, initially I didn't think the sea was gettable because the sparkling effect is really subtle and the, the picture has a lot of like noise in it. So I was like, oh, is that one or isn't it? So um, that would be a nice thing to have that a little bit more prominent, more sparkly. Um, because when we get into the game, when you can use a card that depends on other things, it has a really good sparkle. So maybe that sparkle should be used instead of these very subtle ones. <clears throat> anyway, Flora says, you ventured out from home to learn about poetry. How wonderful. I can teach you what I know. So how about we have a duel? Okay. So our name is Merle. <clears throat> I didn't know this before. Okay. Welcome to the Magical Duel, a battle between wizards. Let's go over the details of this interface. This is you, looking good. Try to be the last wizard standing by the end of the duel to win. That's our health. Okay, if your health is depleted, you'll, need, you'll be defeated and we'll need to rest before venturing forth. This is your deck of cards. Your played cards will be discarded next to it. So discard pile to the right. And this is your hand. At the start of your turn, you draw three cards to start out from your deck. You can hover over your cards to enlarge them and get detailed info. Some of your cards have special conditions. If they are fulfilled, they'll sparkle. So that's the sparkle I'm talking about. These are her cards. <clears throat> In the middle, we have the selection area. That's this area. This is where your played cards go. Oh, yeah, you have, to you have to choose three cards. And finally, we have the right button. When you've selected three cards, you can end your turn and trigger their effects by pressing it. There is a little more to it than this, but experience is the best teacher. Choose three cards and press the right button yourself. So basically, we are writing poetry with the cards that we choose. And that poetry affects the next turn. <clears throat> so, let's see. If your opponent is heartbroken or dispirited, deal 15 damage. So we can inflict dispirit. We can also just do... I think what we'll do, though, because that is two cards totaling 15. I think we're going to do 20 and then one soul burn. Now soul burn is kind of a, a nasty thing. Lose seven health at the start of your turn. So once I inflict the soul burn, you have no chance. You have to lose at least seven health, but then she can uh, do a cure soul burn from yourself. So she can use this on her next turn. Anyway, we're going to deal 20 damage. So 27 damage in these three cards. So let's write this poetry. Now, notice the cards have different colors on them. Um, we have one Brilliance card, one Passion card, and one something else. Gloom, I think. <clears> okay, <throat> this is our opponent. la di da di da Bring their health to zero. <clears throat> so she's doing two Nature cards and one Passion. Okay, so we can read her cards. Once we're ready, we, we do the right button and let them do it. So we can... She's doing Restore 10 Health, Cure from Soul Burn... And then if your opponent's hand has at least one Brilliance card, draw one card from your deck. Well, I don't have a Brilliance card, so this is a wasted card. <clears throat> okay, so she's going to restore some health. Good. Now then, at the start of your turn, the last three cards you played are used to generate a poem. The names of the cards are used as themes to write an original verse of enchantment. <clears throat> In this poem, words that are also card names or synonyms of card names are highlighted. You can hover over these words to see their synonyms. 
<clears throat> Some cards use these highlighted words as conditions to trigger their effect. Greed needs two words of brilliance to be present in the last poem. Other cards require a certain highlighted word to be represented the most, or the least. If your last poem contains more passion words than any other word type, this card's condition is fulfilled. The cards you play every turn influence the poetry of your next turn. So try and play cards that produce beautiful and useful poetry. Now this is kind of made more difficult because you have to play three cards, so therefore you only have two cards left and the rest of them are... I guess you can look and see what you do have, but it is random which one of these is drawn. Is it random? I don't know. Actually, we should test this. We should test this. Okay, fine. How do we get out? Eh, fine. Okay. <clears throat> so. Now with the sword is he wroth that strikes in rage and knows not why. And his blood doth all on me stream. I, who have seen him die, felt my warm eyes upon the sun shed hot tears silently. So, we can inflict three heartbreak for every gloom, for, for all the gloom words, okay. Inflict one per each, so we get three. I like that they put that in parentheses, so we, like, really know what we're gonna do. And heartbreak makes them not uh, able to restore health, but they used their health card last time, so it's not likely that we're gonna see that soon. Okay, we can do a draw card. If your last poem contains mostly gloom words and flick to dispirit, they deal 50% less damage, which is kind of very, very useful. I think that's good. So let's do this. <clears throat> Heartbreak would be good as well. Um, if your opponent is dispirited or heartbroken, deal 15 damage. Okay, so also you need to be careful like what things you do in what order. So we're going to inflict Dispirit, then we can deal 15 damage, and then we can either do another Dispirit, or we could do the Heartbreak. Might as well. That's a, that's a nice one. <clears throat> so is there anything that we need here that is like, okay, if your last poem contains a Brilliance word, to Soul Burn. But it's not likely we're going to get this card at all, because we have these three to draw and these three to draw. I don't know which ones we draw first. We'll find out. It's either Fire Life Duty or River Storm Tears. Okay, so Fire is on the left. We'll find out if th they may not even be in order. So Fire Life Duty, River Storm Tears. Oh, God, I'm going to have to write that down. Anyway, um, let's just go. They go. They play from left to right. So we're going to write this poem. Okay. Boom! Did it! Alright, and so now they can't heal for three turns. Okay, the leaf grows green, the river flows, and joys no longer throng. I cannot choose but take my ease, but pine away among. My comfort is, although I grieve, to leave this world so long. So we get one soul burn, five damage. So this is a really good thing, because um, we did half damage, dispirited. This one is a mean card, the sea, because it deals 20 damage if it's, but we mitigated it by doing the 50% damage reduction. So that's great. Okay. Very good. Okay. Status effects are an effective way to strengthen yourself or weaken your opponent. Hover over them to see what they do. Okay. Yep. So we got tears, fire, river. I think it's random. We got, it was supposed to be fire duty something, right? Yeah, so it's random. So if we look at the deck, we get random draws. Okay, that's good to know. All right, so we can cure soul burn, 10 damage, heartbreak. Um, this will not do anything here. One to spirit. We're going to cure the soul burn, 10 damage. Should we do another heartbreak? Or another, I think we do another Dispirit because of the damage reduction. That's super powerful. Yeah, we don't have a lot of, like, um, damage -y cards at the moment. So we're just going to have to do our best. I've been watching, like, Two Set Violin. They are such a great channel on YouTube. And um, the violin here is kind of interesting. It's nice. Okay, so they've got several Three Brilliance words, one Passion, and one Gloom. Okay, so they're going to inflict two soul burn, one rejuvenate. What is rejuvenate? Let's find out what that is. Restore seven health at the start of your turn. Wow, that's powerful, dude. Okay, so we can do 10 damage, 10 damage, and two soul burn. I think that's what we want to do, I think. 
or we do heartbreak. Uh, heartbreak is pretty good. You know what? Let's do two soul burn. That'll cancel out the rejuvenated and add one. There we go. Let's write this. We're pretty, pretty, doing pretty well here. Really well. Okay, so these two cancel each other out, the Rejuvenate and the Soul Burn. Okay, so these are doing really good here. Five damage, that's half. Okay, so they are selecting a card. <clears throat> Deal damage, Urgh, mean. All right, we can, what do we got here? 31. I think we do 10, 10, and um, restore 10 health, or let's do one, wait, what do they have? Yeah, heartbreak, so they can't restore any health, or just, good, nice, okay, there we go. Soul burn, cure soul burn, inflict one heartbreak. Okay. Yep, so they knew they couldn't heal themselves. Uh, so she didn't even bother uh, doing the healy thing. Okay. Uh, we do dispirit, deal 15 damage, and then what do we do? I guess we do soul burn. That's fine. Sometimes you have to choose a card, even though, even if it doesn't do anything because you have to have the three cards. All right, we've unlocked a new card sleeve. Hooray, which is basically a card. I don't know the why they call it card sleeve, but anyway, we can either get the flower, wind, or rain. If your opponent is dispirited, deal 20 damage. Wow. Or deal six damage for every nature word. That might be good, but I feel like dispirited is easier to set up. So it's more of a short term bonus. Okay, because like the long, you know, the, the long-term ones where you got to plan are a little bit more tricky to handle. Okay, such beautiful poetry. You're already gifted with talent growing as the trees do. Okay, so let's close this and go into our deck. Up here is your inventory. It contains everything you need for your quest. On the left, we have your portrait, name, and the amount of cards you've collected. You can earn new cards from dueling wizards you meet. In the middle, we have your decks. You can create, edit, and move them around here. The leftmost deck is used during duels, so make sure you're prepared before starting one. So basically what this is, is you can create different decks with different card loadouts and then drag them to be the default deck, which is the one you're going to use in your next battle. These counters show the amount of gold and rations you have. Gold is earned through duels and is used to buy rations or cards. Rations are needed to travel the world. Every time you travel from one location to another, you consume one ration. If you run out of rations, you will get a health penalty during your next duel. If you want to save on rations, you can rest to let time pass without consuming a ration. I don't really understand the ration system, as in, like, I don't find it a mechanic that makes sense. Um, why not just let the player go where they want? Um, I guess there's this, like, gold management thing, maybe? And finally, up here is a menu button to change options or return to the title screen. <clears throat> So we can duel her again. I kind of want the C card. Yeah, two nature of words deal 20 damage. Urgh. Let's let's go ahead and start duel. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, I forgot to add the new card to my deck. Oh, sad. Okay, so we do heartbreak 15. Yeah, we're going to have to do that, I think. Heartbreak or dispirit? I think dispirit. Does she have? No, yeah. Dispirited. Right. Nice. Okay. So one soul burn, cure soul burn, inflict one heartbreak. Okay, sure. Doesn't do that much. Okay, 10 damage, 10 damage, one soul burn. I think we'll cure the soul burn from ourselves here. So that's going to be two nature cards here. One duty. I may want to see how many are end up in the poem. Two nature cards, one duty. Okay, they're getting 10 health. Draw a card, okay. Oh, they're dealing 20 damage to me. That's, that's rough, man. Two nature. All right, so we did storm duty and river. So that ends up giving me two. Well, that's weird that there's only two and then two duty. Uh, odd. 
Okay. Um, two brilliance we don't have. One soul burn. One heart. We'll just do these debuffs. I mean, that's kind of all we can do right now. I don't want to waste the ten health because we only have seven health gone. So it feels like a little bit of a waste. Maybe not, but in fact, maybe it would have been a good thing to restore health there because if um, we get heartbroken, then we won't be able to use it at all there. So that's not great. Okay, selecting a card. Oh my god! Oh, that's rough! Dude. Alright, restore 10 health. <laughs> okay. Uh, brilliance word, do 2 soul burn. Let's do 10 damage as well. I feel like the damage cards are really not coming very well here. It's pretty rough. But it's okay, it's random, so it's we'll we'll get more cards as well. So ten damage, ten damage, restore ten health to self, okay. Oi, ow. Oh boy, okay, alright, trying to even the playing field, I see. So we can do a draw one card. We need to get dispirited. Oh no. Okay, so we do ten damage. Uh, we can't really do much here. I guess we'll just do this one. This is one where we just have to throw away a card because otherwise we can't, like, right, we can't do it. Dang, this is rough, man. Okay, we got a rage card. That's okay. Okay, two soul burn. That's not great. One rejuvenate. That's not great. That's not great either. No. Okay, it's fine. It'll be fine. Okay. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we can do dispirit and 15 damage and 10 damage. This is gonna be dead. Go 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 go. Nice. Okay, Flora be dead. Well, not dead, but we have defeated the wizardress. Oh, so you can either get gold or a card. The C. Yes! I want that C card. So I guess you have to choose what you want from these duels um, instead of just oh, defeat it again. I shouldn't go so easy on you. Oh, really? Mm. Okay, so here we go. Welcome to the deck editor. You can change the contents of your decks here. These are the cards that are in your deck on the left. To make space for new cards, you can press any card to remove them from the deck. This is the collection of cards. You can press them to add them to your deck. Can't add cards that are already in your deck. You know, you can't double up. Valid deck must have 15 to 20 cards. Okay, as you explore the world, different will be available to you. You can have a name, la di da di da Okay, so what I've learned in games like deck builder games, IRL and board games, you want to have as few cards as possible. Um, so we're going to keep this, try to keep it down to 15 um, and take out cards that we feel like don't really belong very well. I'm going to add the cards that I want rain and sea for sure so let's see what do we not want i don't really care about drawing cards um i guess it gives us a little bit more choice but it feels like a waste when we can use some other kinds of cards instead uh again mostly gloom words we don't have a lot of gloom cards we've got one two three um, these, I guess, might be mostly gloom words if I do one dispirit and then, you know, do the, do the 15 damage, but that's not going to happen very often. So I think we'll take memory out of there, unless there's something else that we don't want. Um, yeah, this one is a bit, I don't know, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so now we're at 15 again, which is great. We've added the two new cards that we wanted. Um, I'm going to go up toward that magician. So let's travel here. Oh, perfect. And they travel to us. Ilana, Lady of Grimwerp. What cards do they have? Okay, so you can read these as you like. Let's look at the ones that we can get. So deal five damage for every card your opponent has in their hand. Now this, I guess, would be 10 damage unless they start to draw cards with some of their other cards. So I think that's not really too useful to me. Um, if your last poem contains a passion world, deal, deal 15 damage. That's quite nice. If your opponent's hand has at least three cards, inflict one distract. Okay. Discard a card at the end of your turn, which gives you even less choice. That's not great. Um, so, but again, it, it relies on them having three cards. 
If your last poem contains no ego words, deal 15 damage. Now that looks like a great card to have. Charm, if your opponent is soul burned or rejuvenated, deal 15 damage. Okay, that is one that will probably last. So I want charm or grave here. Okay, so let's start the duel. Okay. Um, so we need... So okay. Uh, 10 damage. Dispirited. Uh, nothing. I think we'll do this just take one and then save the uh dispirited card for later okay let's see what they're doing okay they didn't do anything to me <laughs> great okay uh oh no gloom words 10 damage we have no dispirit cards this is terrible oh no uh, 15 damage. Yeah, I guess we'll just do that. We're not going to do anything. Well, 10 damage is, I guess, okay. All right. What are they going to do? 15 damage, 10. Oh, boy. That's not great. And heartbreak as well. That's not good. So heartbreak is no, no health restoration. That's not great. Okay, let's see. If your last poem... No, we don't have the gloom in nature. So, and we don't have Dispirit either! Oh, this is terrible. Um, uh, I guess we're going to do this because we can't really do much else. This one is the easiest one to make the conditions for, so we're going to keep that one. Okay, discard one card. All right, so they have to discard something. Ow. Dang. Okay, finally, Dispirit. And 10 damage. Finally, finally. This is going really... This is hard, man. Okay, let's do 20 and 10 damage. That's 30 damage in one turn, which is crazy good. But remember, to play the cards in order. Otherwise, if we had the Dispirit at the end, we would not have been able to, to use that other card at all. Okay, four damage. Okay. So, um, right. She's 33 damage here. I think we might even do the Restore 10 Health. 10 damage, 10 damage. Let's see, Gloom and Two Nature Words. We might get lucky on this one. Maybe. Let's see if that works. We're getting close. We're getting close. Okay. 10 damage. Okay. 14 damage. Okay. It's fine. We'll be fine. Hopefully fine. Ow. Okay. So we can get this here, I think. We can do two soul burn. Yeah, we did not get two... Oh, so maybe when they say two nature words, because we have like one, two, three, four, five nature words, but it's not lighting up. So that tells me that we have to play two nature cards. I wish that was a little bit clearer. That would be nice. All right, 10 damage, and that should kill her, actually. These two should kill her. Uh, sure. So she should die before her turn. There we go. Boom. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Um, passion. Oh, blood or grave. Let's do grave. These ego words. Yeah, that's easiest to avoid. That's nice. Cool. Let's add that to our deck now. Okay, well on our way to, you know, unlocking the next chapter. To progress in Verses of Enchantment, go, collecting cards is the way to go. You're only a few duels away from unlocking the next chapter across the seas. Good luck. Okay, so let's edit our deck. And we want to add Grave. So what else do we take off, though? A Brilliance Word. So that's one, one Brilliance card played. Um... This one, this one seems really difficult, actually, now that I'm looking at it. 
you have to play gloom and two nature cards. I thought it was based on the words because it says words, but it's not. It's based on the amount of cards and that's a full play. You have to do gloom, nature, nature. So I think we take that one off. Okay, accept. All right, let's keep on playing Ilana because we want that other card as well. Okay, so one heartbreak, 10 damage. Ooh, nice. Okay, heartbreak, this, that. So we're gonna deal 25 damage. Excellent. Ilana, you don't have a chance. Aha! Okay. Oh, damn. Okay, well, it's only 10 damage. It's okay. Okay, um, let's see. This one is lighting up. Three heartbreak for every gloom word. Wow, that's nice. See, this is one of the things that I don't understand because clearly I only played two gloom cards, but I'm getting three gloom words. So this one is actually reacting to the number of words, whereas the other card didn't. So I don't know if there's... Maybe there's a bug going on. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of like wondering about that. Anyway... We can do two of these, so 20 more damage. Remember, uh, when you're thinking about restoring health to yourself, your enemy can't kill you if they're dead. That is the, the, the philosophy we're going with here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so they're going to do 15 damage, and that's it. Soul burn and 15 damage. That's it. Okay, couldn't quite get me there, so... We have two soul burn. Ah, there we go. Deal 15 damage. If you're, uh, are they dispirited? No, they're heartbroken, but we can do this. We can inflict dispirit. This is quite nice because this is basically um, one card that uses the other card. So this is like 10 damage and 10 damage, like where we have the 10 damage ones. So I'm hoping we can get more cards that kind of play off each other and will uh, sort of synergize better, but we haven't gotten them yet. There's a hundred cards in the game. And uh, we're looking forward to getting more of them. Anyway, we're going to do this. Because that one is worth more than two soul burn. Just barely. But they can cure themselves of soul burn as well. So, you know, you have to be pretty... Okay, distract. No. Uh, okay, they're not playing very well here. So they're selecting a card and that's it. Wow. All right. All right, we got 10 damage... One soul burn, two soul burn. Sure, why not? Oh, and wow, yeah, that's rough. I wonder how the um, cure soul burn works. Like, does it, would it remove all three stacks or would it remove only one stack? I'm kind of curious about this now. It doesn't say. All right, let's just do 10, 10, and 15. We're just going to overkill here. It'll be fine. All right. Let's get a card. Um, if your opponent is soul burned or rejuvenated, deal 15 damage. Wow. I'm trying to like figure out which one is like more likely to happen this is kind of nice because this can do either of two conditions and soul burn is quite common this one takes more planning where it's like aha the problem with this one is the whole randomness of the game like if you have this in your last two cards that you draw that's fine but if you're like i hope i get the blood card it can be kind of annoying so i think we're going to take charm here I think that's a really good card. Let's go ahead and, and add that to our deck as well. Okay. Charm. Okay. Um, what do we take out though? Brilliance words. We have two of those. So that's okay, I guess. These I don't really like. One heartbreak for every gloom in your last. I think we'll take that one off. Okay, accept. So let, oh, uh, okay. Whoops, I'm trying to move the map and I accidentally clicked. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's go here. Let's chase down this other new person. Uh, go here, please. 
It looks like they're coming here. If we click on the circle, we can see how much food costs, by the way. And right now we have 15 food and... Oh, no. Uh, oh, do we have 15 food? Hold on. Okay, use the arrows in the trading thing to buy or sell rations at the price listed in between. Okay, so we have 15 rations. It's going to cost 7. Um, yeah, okay. Wow, you could actually like buy at one place and uh, sell at another. That's interesting. These cost 8. These cost 6. So 7 isn't horrible. Eh, I can't click on the town. Okay, well, let's just go here. Travel. All right, so we have a new new duelist here. Wait, how much is the... Uh, eh, can I click the thingy? Wow, that is hard to click on. I think that that could see some attention, maybe. Like, maybe put the little button above the people. That would be easier. So we have 14 rations. Let's just talk to this guy. Let's see. Cademon the Scholar. It's got gold. Okay. Home. This can only be used in the very beginning of the game because you're not likely to get up to 70 health later. Mind, inflict one focus on yourself and your opponent. Uh, if your last poem contains an ego and a gloom word, inflict three heartbreak. Um, and then pride. If your last poem contains an ego and brilliance, deal 20 damage. If your last opponent's hand has less than two cards, two to spirit. The only one I kind of want is pride. I don't really want the others. Anyway, let's start the duel. Okay, one to spirit. Let's do soul burn, 10 damage, and to spirit, maybe. I should have kept to spirit, actually, because that could be used in combination with another card. Oops. Um... Okay, so let's see. All right, 10 damage. Okay, so we have two soul burn. We could do this one. Um, and then another 10 damage, I think. Yeah. All right, Cademon, you're not doing so good, dude. Okay, if you have at least 70 health, okay. Da, 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 da. We got focus, okay. Heartbreak, that's not great. We need to spirit. Let's see. We do 15 damage, that's quite nice. Um, eh. Can't do much with this. I think I'm going to throw away this card, maybe? Or should I just do Heartbreak? Do they have a... They don't have any healing ones. But I'll just do it anyway. I don't really want to throw away the health card yet. They're getting really low on health here. Okay, 10 damage, still burn 10 damage, okay. Nice. Okay. And we kill them. With our 10-10 and nothing. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, let's see what we get. Hello. Thank you. Um, I didn't want either any of these, actually. No. I guess we can just collect them. Three heartbreak. Okay, should we do another? Yeah, let's do another duel. Why not? Oh, we got some damage cards already. Spirit. We have to do this one and this one, I think, and then do that one. It's not as good as... Well, I guess that's kind of the best we can hope for with this particular set of cards here. Five damage. Okay, good. We have that mitigation. Perfect. We've got focus. That's interesting. 
Okay. And do two soul burn. Yeah, there we go. 15 damage. And then... What do we got in here? No ego cards. Yeah, there's really nothing else that depends on certain amounts of cards here. So we could do 10 damage or... 10 damage. Let's just do rage. Doesn't really matter if I do storm or rage. Okay, three heartbreak. All right, so now what do we have here? We have heartbreak. Do they have a healing card? No. Man, I wish I had the dispirited though. Eek. But we'll just do 30 damage here. That's kind of a lot. Dead. I have to say that I'm really learning how to play this better. When I was uh, practicing this game, I did did lose quite a number of times. So um, you have to really pay attention to what you are doing in this game. And you have to kind of learn how the cards work, just FYI. Okay, six health. Um, let's see, Heartbreak, Soul Burn. That might be how we, like, fix this because the rest we we don't we can't do anything oh no <laughs> we really can't do anything <clears throat> okay at least they can't heal okay dead okay can we get a card here pride we wanted right yes okay awesome Okay, so we are, we are there. Um, how much is stuff here? Eight rations here are how much now? Seven. We could just kind of, I mean, there are only three people on this island, so I think we need to keep on collecting cards um, and keep on dueling, but that is all the time we have for today. So um, uh, if you enjoyed this video, I heartily uh, encourage you to click on that like button. It's a very cute animation. You can see it if you click it. <laughs> um, and it's, um, I don't know. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>